God's church has always had a messenger, a powerful voice that convicts hearts, guides minds, and draws his people to a closer relationship with Jesus Christ. You know their names. Noah, the ark builder. Moses, the lawgiver. Daniel, the prophet. Paul, the apostle. John, the revelator. But what about today? Does God have a messenger for his people now? Who can his people turn to when fearful events transpire in the world? Now you can discover a last day revelation of how God has led in the past, how he is leading today, and how he will lead you into eternity. Remnant Publications presents The Testimonies, all nine volumes on audiobook. The Father is in one sense the priest of the household, laying upon the altar of God the morning and evening sacrifice, while the wife and children unite in prayer and praise. With such a household, Jesus will tarry, and through his quickening influence, the parents' joyful exclamation shall yet be heard amid more exalted scenes, saying, Behold, I am the children whom the Lord hath given me, saved, saved, eternally saved freed from the corruption that is in the world through lust and through the merits of Christ made heirs of immortality. Men looked at the lofty and supposedly fireproof buildings and said, they are perfectly safe. But these buildings were consumed as if made of pitch. The fire engines could do nothing to stay the destruction. If meat eating was ever healthful, it is not safe now. Cancers, tumors, and pulmonary diseases are largely caused by meat eating. Soon, we heard his lovely voice again, saying, Come, my people, you have come out of great tribulation and done my will, suffered for me, come in to supper, for I will gird myself and serve you. We shouted, Alleluia, glory, and entered the city. Those who were waiting to make themselves more worthy of divine favor before they venture to claim the promises of God were making a fatal mistake. Jesus alone cleanses from sin. He only can forgive our transgressions. I saw the fruit of the tree of life, the manna, almonds, figs, pomegranates, grapes, and many other kinds of fruit. I asked Jesus to let me eat of the fruit. He said, not now. Those who eat of the fruit of this land go back to earth no more. But in a little while, if faithful, you shall both eat of the fruit of the tree of life and drink of the water of the fountain. You can have all this in your daily devotions to prepare you and your family for the second coming and to share with friends in need. Take it with you as you walk in nature or even while in your car. Be refreshed, be restored, be inspired, be equipped to face the future with God's powerful message of faith and hope for today. Don't wait. Order now at remnantpublications.com or call 1-800-423-1319.